Hi there, little chicken nuggets. It's me. Um, it's me, Car Carl. It's me, it's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends. Talk about Jesus and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Hey, Handy. Hey, Carl. How you doing? Fine. And you? Good. Good. Um, what's that? Huh? What's the um that? What's that? What? I Oh, this. Yeah, oh, it's nothing. They gave it to me when I ran the 5K this morning. 5Ks? What is this, math class? It's a race, Carl. It's, uh, it's three miles. A 5K is three miles? <laughs> I don't think you know what you're talking about, Andy. Plus, why don't you give me one? I want a trophy. Well, you have to do something in order to get one. I do stuff. Okay, I didn't mean it like that. I meant like a race or like a competition. Why do you want one so bad anyways? I don't know. It's cool. It makes you look important. I want to be cool and look important too. Oh, goodness, Carl. Okay. Are you ready? For what? For this. Wah! Ah! Wah! Hey, what is this? Why am I small? Why are you a giant? Am I dreaming? Ouch. I don't like this dream. Carl, you are not dreaming, okay? All right? I, I figured I'm going to take the lead on this one because you really need to hear the story of Nehemiah. Mia who? A what? Nehemiah. He was a cupbearer a long time ago, back in the Old Testament times. What's a cupbearer? Is that what they call it when a grizzly drinks the second half of your coffee? Uh, no. It was a job. Nehemiah worked for the king of Persia. He would taste the food and drink for the king to make sure it wasn't poisoned. But the thing is, Nehemiah wasn't from Persia. He was from Jerusalem. Like his fellow Israelites, all of them were brought over to live in this new land when their land was taken over by other kingdoms. Oh, that's awful. Yep, and one day he got even more terrible news. Oh no! What was it? He was told that his hometown of Jerusalem was in really bad shape. These people had turned their backs on God, and the city walls even had been torn down and ruined. Well, that's a bummer. How'd that make Nehemiah feel? Not good at all. It crushed him to know that the place he loves the most was unprotected and hurting. He wanted to do something about it. He wanted to help, but he knew he would have to ask the king first. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. What? Do you think I was born yesterday? Do you think I got nothing but beautiful silky locks of hair up here? What are you talking about? I've read the Bible enough to know that you just can't go talk to the king. The king is, like, super important. Nehemiah would never speak to the king, would he? Well, get this. When it was mealtime, the king had looked over at Nehemiah and noticed that he was upset. The king had asked him what was wrong. So it gave Nehemiah the perfect opportunity to tell the king everything. Wow, I guess the king really liked Nehemiah to talk about his, like, feelings and stuff. Yeah, I guess so. Nehemiah told him he couldn't help but look sad because the city that he loved was in ruins. Then the king asked, what is it that you want? Oh no, this is it! Don't do it, Nehemiah! Just keep your head down and say, that is all, my king. You're pushing your luck, Nehemiah! Don't worry, Carl. So this is what happened. Nehemiah first prayed to God and then said this, If it pleases the king and if your servant has found favor in his sight, let him send me to the city in Judah where my ancestors are buried so that I can rebuild it. The king looked over to the queen, then back at Nehemiah and asked Nehemiah, how long do you think this is going to take? And then the king, well... He I can't hear this so long, Nehemiah. Was pleased. The king was on Nehemiah's side. What? That's right. The king was so happy to be sending Nehemiah. And Nehemiah was so thrilled to go back to his hometown and rebuild the city walls. Wow. So Nehemiah became like a contractor and helped fix his own town? So what is this? Is it national make Carl feel bad because he hasn't accomplished anything today? Because if it is, you're doing a great job celebrating it. I don't mean to make you feel bad, Carl. I want this to encourage you. Encourage me? How can that story possibly encourage me? You get a trophy, Nehemiah found his purpose, and gets to rebuild a wall. What do I get? <laughs> that's what. First of all, that's not true. You've won awards before. Okay, most confusing face award does not count. Plus, that was like from high school. Wait, weren't you homeschooled? Is there another point you're trying to make, Andy? Sorry, I just, I think you're missing the point. God knew the desires of Nehemiah's heart. It was to go back and restore the city that meant so much to him to help heal a broken community. God knew that Nehemiah was the man for the job, so God gave him the passion and the opportunity, not only to rebuild the wall, but to have the confidence to speak to the king about it. So even though Nehemiah was valuable to the king, the king let him go back to his hometown, 
And Nehemiah was valuable to God for this reason too? Well, yes, but Nehemiah wasn't valuable to God because he had a job to do. He was valuable to God because God created him and loved him, just like you. I did not create anyone named Nehemiah, Andy. No, I mean you are valuable to God because you are you, Carl. You don't need any kind of a word to tell you what you're worth, you know? Huh, I guess it makes sense. But I'm gonna be honest, before I knew God, I truly felt like I never mattered. But because of what God has taught me and showed me, I don't know, I feel valuable. I'm starting to imagine what God had in mind for my gifts and personality. Like yesterday, my neighbor asked me to help organize his sweater collection. I was like, oh, wow, I really do have something to offer to others. And my mama told me how much she loves me, and I bet she loves people because God values and loves her too. That is so good to hear, Carl, and that's exactly what I hoped you would hear in the story. Yep, thanks for sharing. <sighs> Can I hold your trophy now? Nope. Ah, bummer. Well, hey there, kids. I'm so glad you're here because we have an awesome big idea today. That big idea is, because of God, I can feel valued. How great is that? Now, on the count of three, we are going to shout it as loud as we can, okay? Ready? One, two, three. Because of God, I can feel valued! Perfect! Wonderful job, everyone! Now, I appreciate you watching Bro TV this week, and I hope you come back and see us next time, alright? Perfect. See you later! Thank you for watching, and tune in next week for a new episode of Bro TV.